Okay, so here's a quick win, a uh, good technique to use. I just checked in in my Gmail. I hope there's no porn in here that you guys are looking at. It looks pretty clean. Uh, I just looked over the last day for some responses uh, that I might have gotten uh, to our squeeze offer, our, for the, in this case, our free squeeze system. Uh, and the first email that we're sending out um, basically says, I hope this fellow doesn't mind me uh, using him in the example here, um, basically just says, hi, just checking in. Were you able to get your free squeeze site set up okay? And I was able to get yesterday, you know, probably about 10 uh, nice quick responses from people. I didn't make them read a whole big email, you know, and go through a whole lot of, hey, I'm, you know, nice to meet you after they opted in. I just wanted to make sure that they got whatever it is they were opting in for. In this case, the free squeeze system. Um, you can use this whatever business you're in. We do a lot of work with real estate agents, right? And a lot of real estate agents will send out some long, long email that says, um, says, hey, uh, what are you looking for? What's your life story? You know, uh, what's your price range? Do you have a mortgage? They'll ask 30 questions right away when somebody opts in just to look at a few properties. Uh, and what you do there is you sort of, right away you tell the person, you sort, you're, you're almost, this day and age, you're almost, it's almost offensive, right? To make somebody have to spend more than 10 seconds reading something, right? I know I'm, Josh and I get a little offended sometimes and somebody sends a big email, we just hit the delete button. Uh, you're gonna do much better with a one-liner. Hey, did you get blank? Did you get X, right? And the more personal it sounds, almost as if you just wrote it real quick, um, the more likely you're gonna get a response. Now you're only gonna get a response from a small percentage, but those people who respond are live, you know they're engaging uh, with your stuff, and you can start a dialogue from there. So in your autoresponder series, um, you know, the first email that goes out right away, you know, in AWeber you would set this or get response, you set it for immediately, like zero days, you go out right away, should be, um, hey, did you get X okay? Just, and in your name, make it as personal as possible. Maybe you just put your first name, you know, and then your URL. Um, so there we go, just a quick win. Try this out, it really, it, it really works well whenever you do it. Um, uh, and then you can get a little more sophisticated with the follow-up afterwards. You use something like, uh, if you really want to dig deep, one good resource is Autoresponder Madness. I don't even know if this is open, Andre Chaperone. Um, here we go. This is really good. Uh, go to his site, and I'll include a link under the video. He's got just the, 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 the site before you buy the product. <laughs> There's just so much great info in here. Uh, read all his stuff. He's got something called Affiliate Bully. Uh, you'll click below. Um, you can see there's all kinds of in the footer. He's got some other products. But uh, if you really want to get crazy with your autoresponder, this is a good place to go. But start with that first email. Make it really short and sweet and personal. In AWeber, you're just going to go to follow up right here. Right? You create a new follow up message. Make sure it's set. Hey. Did you get X okay? Or were you able to were you able to get into Y okay? Or something like um, you know, in real estate it would be like um, did you notice the foreclosure link when you were searching properties? Right? You know, when they were like using the search, did you, so point out a feature or something, but make it a one-liner, Ryan, Phil, Phil, when, com. The people who respond to that right away are a little hotter. Just because people don't respond doesn't mean that you shouldn't keep following up with them, but this is a good way to sift out your hot leads right away and make it sound as personal as possible. All right, I've rambled on long enough. Have a good one.